Good morning, my friends. It's me again, your favorite denture wearer. I sure hope everybody's doing okay today. I hope you can see me all right. I've got my walk set on between medium and medium high. I'm going to make some toast real quick before I start my breakfast. I've got my eggs right here, already mixed up in a bowl, ready to go. I have my sausage already thawed out right here. Now this is Walmart brand sausage, and I find it to be actually really good. <laughs> I kind of like it. So this split screen is going to be a little different. Um, I was putting the camera over there, but this wall, this wall right here with the camera being over there, over there by the refrigerator, this wall gets in the way. So I'm hoping that this split screen works out a little better. Now what I'm doing is I'm just making a simple sausage and egg breakfast, and I'm going to start by making my toast. Now the reason I have my burner only on medium high right, or on between medium and medium high, is because butter smokes extremely fast at low temperature. So the object here is not to smoke up the entire house. <laughs> I just want to brown my toast. I've always done toast either in a cast iron pan or a skillet or I hate toasters. I don't know why. It just seems like they dry out the bread because they cook from both sides. So that kind of just sucks all the moisture out of the bread. And doing it this way, I don't know why, but it just keeps the bread a little more moist in the middle, which I really, really like. And you'll notice if you go to a, a fairly upscale restaurant, they do their toast this way. They do it on a grill. They don't do it in a frying pan per se, but or a wok, but they do it on the grill. They'll put the toast on the grill. It just seems to keep it better. So what I'm making this morning, and I'm going to brown my sausage quite a bit, so if you're in, in immediate dentures, if you're in your immediate dentures or you're, uh, you know, having a difficult time struggling eating with dentures or if you have no teeth at all, you don't have to brown your sausage as much as I'm going to. Uh, it's just my personal preference. I like my sausage nice and nice and brown. Not everybody likes their sausage that brown. But we're going to do the toast first. And this is going to take a few minutes. Because like I said, I've got the temperature on a little bit low heat. I can turn it up just a hair. And a wok, boy, it adjusts to the heat just like that. That's good for that piece. It doesn't have to be completely blackened or browned. I like my toast about half crunchy. Always have. I like the taste of the butter. So I don't want to ruin the taste of the butter by burning it. If you understand what I'm saying. So this is going to be a little bit longer video than what I usually make um, because I'm doing extra. I'm cooking extra stuff. But I kind of wanted to show you the entire process of what I do when I make breakfast or, you know, how I cook in my wok. I know some of you like my cooking videos and others of you think, eh, you're just cooking big deal. And that's great because I like a variety of opinions. I like it when people decide for themselves whether they like something or not. But in most cases you like my cooking videos so I'm going to do a few more cooking videos for y'all. And like I said you can see now that it's it's not smoking it's actually steaming and the way you know that is because by the time it gets up to here, it dissipates. So it's actually just steam at this point. When it starts to fill up the kitchen, then it becomes smoke, and we don't like that. We don't want to smoke up the house. So we're almost done with the toast. And as soon as we're done with the toast, we'll throw some avocado oil in the pan. Now that's smoking. 
and turn it down just a hair because that's smoking a little bit there. I can smell the smoke. There's a difference in the smell between smoke and steam. I can actually smell the smoke now. So, turn it down just a hair. Because like I said, I don't want to smoke up the entire house. We don't have the air on today because it's cool outside. It's probably 55 degrees Fahrenheit right now, which is a little cool. We don't need to be running the swamp cooler at 55 degrees. Yeah, see that, that browned really fast. That kind of burnt the butter right there. So I had my temperature up just a hair too high, which is okay. I don't mind. And I'm sorry I'm not looking at the camera too much, but I have to pay attention to what's going on here. This is my, my project. I have to pay attention to what's going on. Yeah, see, it's, it's got a little burn on it. And that's okay. I'm still going to eat it because it's still going to be good. I don't mind a little burn. All right, that's done. Toast is finished. Now, got a little smoke going on. Let's throw some uh, oil in the pan here. And again, the reason you put the oil around the edge is because the edges are hot. It'll heat up that oil before it goes down into the center of the pan. And in doing so, it won't cool off the pan. So we want to get our sausage in here. And this is going to sizzle quite a bit. Sausage has a lot of water, a lot of moisture in it. But the sausage itself actually does not take very long to cook. At all. That way it will sink over here. Sorry if I got in your way there, my friends. It happens. <laughs> now, yeah, the sausage won't take very long to cook at all. So, I'm going to turn this up just a hair now. Oh, I love the spice of that sausage. I just love the smell of it. And I have to uh, turn this around as it's cooking because half of it's in the oil and half of it's not. So I have to kind of turn it around as it's cooking to make sure that it cooks all the way around. And it'll lose some of its mass as it's cooking, you know, some of the moisture will come out of it and it'll shrink down a little bit. But like I said, the sausage doesn't take very long to cook, neither does the eggs. But I kind of have to hold it in there. We're kind of deep frying it almost almost deep frying the sausage, but the avocado oil, uh, you can run that at an extremely high temperature. You see how brown that is? Boy, that looks good, doesn't it? And I find that using a knife, in this instance, is easier for me to work the food using a, a butter knife than it is to try to get a big old fat spatula in there. You know, because if I try to put a spatula down in there, the angle is so great that the spatula won't bend, it'll just end up pushing all the sausage over to one side. So, let's flip this around, turn it around, turn it around, turn this one around, and turn this one around. And like I said, the sausage cooks extremely fast. Because I have it on medium high now, we're very close to it. So it doesn't take long for the sausage to cook. And as you can see, that's a beautiful golden brown. Look at that. Really? That's a beautiful golden brown on both sides. And it's still got plenty of moisture in it. That's why it sizzles when it flips over. Now we'll get our eggs in here real quick. And believe it or not, these eggs won't take very long to cook either. Let's splash that oil around. We're gonna pour the eggs on the side as they go in. There we go. Now remember, this is just avocado oil. 
It's not. Um, there's not a whole lot of grease from the sausage because we cooked the uh, sausage in avocado oil, so we didn't really have a lot of grease es escaping, escaping from the sausage. Now here's a trick I learned from YouTube, people. You put your salt in, and I know it looks like there's a lot of salt there, but there's really not. It's hardly coming out of the thing. When you go to do your pepper, instead of trying to shake it like this, because, you know, it takes forever to get pepper out, put your salt shaker on top of your pepper and just run the ridges. Watch this. Look how much pepper comes out of there, just from the vibration. And I, myself, like a lot of pepper. I do, I do, I do. I won't deny it. I like a lot of pepper. We're just kind of flipping this so that we can get more egg out of the middle there to get it to cook. We're not trying to uh, flip it over per se. We're just trying to get the runny egg part out of the middle so that it has an opportunity to cook as well. Um, yeah doesn't take very long to cook. Put my fork on the plate now. Now we'll go to the spoon. And I kind of like a scrambled egg, but I don't want it in, you know, little tiny, little tiny chunks. I kind of like to cut it up on the plate, but we kind of have to look at that nothing sticks when you use a wok correctly and you've got it seasoned correctly nothing sticks it's awesome I love my wok and the more I use it the more I get used to it and the more I get used to it the more I can cook in it and it's awesome Look at that. Now, with a little wipe down, that wok is ready to go again. Just like a cast iron skillet, only better. Because it heats up faster. Um, it heats up faster, it cools down faster. You can control the heat better, especially on an electric range, which is difficult enough as it is with an electric, you know, having an electric range instead of a gas stove. Difficult enough, but, you know, just like a, just like a non-stick skillet, once you get it seasoned properly and everything, there you go, we're ready to cook again. All right, I'm going to sit down and eat. Um, I don't know if you want to watch me sit down and eat or not, but uh, I'm going to sit down and eat, so. All right, well, we got our food, and like I said, I like my sausage a little crispy. Still, very juicy in the middle. Mmm. We got our eggs cooked up here. They came out very fluffy, very good. Our pan fried toast came out delicious. Once again, if you're in your immediate dentures and you're looking for foods that you can eat that are soft this is soft fried toast look at this this is not crunchy a little crunchy around the edges but very soft and easy to chew Like I said, 
I don't like toasters per se. Because they suck all the moisture out of the out of the food, in my opinion. Out of the toast. Everybody knows how to make scrambled eggs. Everybody knows how to cook sausage. If you use The mistake I see people make with their sausage, and the reason their sausage gets so dried out, they're using a non-stick skillet or a cast iron skillet, and they're not using any oil. They just throw their sausage in the pan and let it start cooking and searing up. And in doing so, you're sucking all the moisture out of that sausage. So by the time it's nice, nice and crispy, it's like a hockey puck. You have to use some oil. Now you can cook the sausage on a lower temperature using regular kitchen cooking oil or um, something like Crisco, olive oil. You can cook it at a little lower temperature and still achieve the same effect. But the oil keeps the moisture in the sausage. I mean, look at this. You don't hear it crunching. Nice and brown on the outside. Soft and delicious on the inside. Look at that. You could eat this. Almost threw a chunk out of my mouth there. You can eat this with immediate dentures. Probably a couple weeks into your immediate dentures. I wouldn't say first first week or so. You might. It depends on the level of pain you're having. But for the most part, for 80% of people out there, it would be your second week or your third week or even your fourth week. You could eat this with no teeth. And aside from the little bit of crispy edges on the toast, the rest of the toast is soft. You could eat that with no teeth. Yeah. Depending on how crispy you make your sausage, you could eat that with no teeth. So, I hope you enjoy these cooking videos. If you do, throw me a comment, please. Click the like button, and by all means, share these videos because there's lots of people out there right now that are struggling to eat with their immediate dentures or with no teeth. And I'm hoping that these cooking videos will help people. So let's get these videos out there so people can see that they don't have to just eat pudding and mashed potatoes with their immediate dentures or with no teeth. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to rinse my mouth out here, and we're going to put the dentures on the table, wipe them off a little bit here, because I just want to prove to you. Now, granted, I eat one day a week without my teeth, so my gums are fairly toughened up, but I just want to show that you can eat 
scrambled egg. Pan fried toast. And nice browned sausage. Without your teeth. Now, obviously you can tell I'm not using any adhesive in my dentures, and you already know that I'm only using denture fit in my top denture. You heard that suction when it came out of my mouth. Again, I want to thank DentureFit for sponsoring this channel. They are such an amazing company. Their product is amazing in and of itself, and the quality of care that they give to people when you call to have them help you with your reline is just above and beyond the call of duty. So you can get denture fit. If you don't know what it is, it's a soft silicone reline. You do it home yourself. It forms to the gums to make the denture fit correctly, like it should. Uh, click the first little blue line in the description, right under this video. Go to Denture Fit website. Get your denture fit today. And again, I want to thank you all for sharing this journey with me for four and a half years. I've been making videos, talking about dentures, talking about different ways to eat and things like that. And I want to thank everybody for sharing this journey with me. If you're new to dentures and you're struggling to eat, um, I hope these videos help you. If you are going without teeth because you haven't got your dentures yet. I hope these videos help you. Let me know in the comments if they're helping. Please share these videos on your Facebook or your Twitter or your you know share a link on your on your Instagram account or something to help someone else out. Everybody deserves the same help you're getting. So please share these videos. I hope everybody has an amazing day. I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to keep smiling, keep trying, and never give up. I'm going to get back to eating now. I have to finish this meal without my teeth because, well, I'm not putting dirty teeth back in my mouth. Have a great day, everyone.